Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he... He's marked down at the 21-yard line. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. His throw incomplete. Woods, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Super one. On first down, gone. And his throw here is incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. So a line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. The 30. 20. And he's way down into Dallas territory inside the Cowboy 15. A big play there on the catch and run. 49 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, it's Gurley. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick Left. burst there, and he nicely Left. bit off a pretty Left. decent game. Left. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Oh, they go with a tight end carry, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Here we go, it's Gurley, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Todd Gurley taking it in from two yards out, and the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Gurley, Gurley. The 
He'll try and run it with Gurley. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short, and this will remain a 6-0 ball game. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Here's Prescott. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. They go play action here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Rams offense getting the football back here. This is a unit that is 11-1, this Rams team. Charles, they won three straight, and they clinched the NFC West last week with a victory over Detroit. First time that they've had back-to-back -back division titles since winning seven straight from 73 to 79. How about that? That takes us back a ways. They were absolutely dominant during that time, but never won a Super Bowl, which was the one failure that they had during that stretch. But this team, they've got a chance to win the Super Bowl. They have all the pieces in place. They didn't play particularly well at Detroit, but they played well enough to win. Todd Gurley, 132 yards, two touchdowns, and Aaron Donald did what Aaron Donald <laughs> does. Two sacks, one of them a forced fumble against Matthew Stafford. Five tackles for a loss. Leads the league with 16 in it. And he's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 39. Goff finding Cooks on a big play. 44 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that he got it. Man, it's caught inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. And that one results in 35 yards. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going, and they've got it here with a first down. On first and goal, Gurley, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams add on to their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. That's fielded in the end zone. Tavon Austin, he's going to go. He's at the 30, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin, 105 yards. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. Well, he made the right choice by result but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, 
When guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 13 to 7. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense. And got his man complete. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A huge play that time for the Rams. And even 60 yards. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Gerald Everett taking it in. And the Rams add on to their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. So the call's made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. They'll try and run it with Gurley. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Here go 46. Here go 48. Prescott looks to throw on first. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That throw good for four. It's second down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Whoa! 
They'll throw again. Prescott. He'll let it fly for Austin. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Tavon Austin. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Extra point splits the uprights. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. That's fielded in the end zone. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And yeah, nice yardage right off the bat here as he's up to about the 24-yard line. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for L.A. 48 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Super 66! They'll run it now, out of the gun. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Go, 76, 76. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Rams add on to their lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. A second down throw for Prescott. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. On third down, it's Prescott. Flush to his right. And that's caught by Beasley. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. First and ten, Prescott. 
He hits Beasley right side. And he's got this down to the 35. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 right at the 20. Hey, 47. Go 46, 46. 46. To the air again, Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, that'll bring up second down. Prescott yet again. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. The extra point up and good. And they're within seven now at 28-21. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And the Rams getting set to go now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. The final shot before break here, gone. He's going to float this one deep right side. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Mark Bear Coming hard from that linebacker spot. He drops him for a loss of 11. Second down, Prescott. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 30. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 54 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, the blitz coming 
And down he goes. Samson Abuka coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. On well, the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point attempt to come here. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And we are all tied at 28. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. On second down, here's gone. It's hot left side by Colts. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Maverick, Maverick. To throw on second down is gone. He gets it to Cooks. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now they'll pitch it back to Gurley. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Here's Goff now on second down. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The Rams on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Super one, super one. Now it's gone. Right side complete. That's Woods. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Here we go. 76. 76. They're running with Gurley. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Sean McVay's gamble does not pay off. 
off. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A first down throw for Prescott. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A first down carry by Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And an alley to run. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there's another first down run right there. Here's Elliott. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Allen Hearns from 13 yards out. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out. So I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. OK, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Here's gone. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. Jones breaking from the contact. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Looking for Woods that time. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. 
flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. I think it's intercepted. This is Elliott. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Prescott now on second down. Staying on his feet. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott to throw. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Now Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Goff now 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Goff now to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Woods. Give him 30 yards there. First down now, but that clock rolling. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far, a big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers in bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch. But it's plenty in this game, exactly the formula they need. And I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said that actually comes true, that's actually right. What happens more often than you might think? And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. 
set. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. So first and 10 now from the 30. No Prescott here to throw. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on to it second down. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. He was going to his left. A little bit tougher. Exactly. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. Prescott now. Dancing to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. So now, just like that, things change dramatically. It's first and goal. can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.